Miami's still in the market for a new offensive coordinator after relieving Josh Gaddis of his duties a week and a half ago. Of course, the defense coordinator, Kevin Steele, has taken the Alabama D.C. job. We're not going to discuss that one today. Uh, Mario Cristobal still needs to find an offensive coordinator to work with the quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke. So let's focus on that one. Uh, before Cristobal's debut season at his alma mater, he made a run at Jason Candle, who is the Toledo coach that we just talked about as being a possibility for the Notre Dame OC position. Now, Candle's team won the MAC this season, but they finished 9-5. and five. Uh, He was just given an extension, so it's not like he's in real trouble at the school or anything like that, but for the talent that he has amassed with the Rockets, uh, his teams continue to underwhelm and really underperform expectations. Most people would have thought that, uh, well, I guess most people think that he should have made the, uh, the jump to a P5 head coaching position by now, but things have not exactly gone as planned. His first two seasons at Toledo, his teams went to combine 20 and 7 with a MAC title. But since 2018, his teams have gone 33 and 25, and their first MAC title in that time span was this season. Uh, they were they've been downright average. Now everybody still respects his offensive uh, acumen, but it's proven to be much more difficult to jump to a P5 head coaching position from a MAC school than it was in the past. We've now seen two examples of MAC coaches leaving head coaching positions to go be coordinators at the P5 level. Dan Enos from Central Michigan, he went to Arkansas. And then this season, of course, I already mentioned, Sean Lewis left Kent State to join Colorado. And at this point, after being at Toledo for seven full seasons and only being 43 years old, does he want to try and make that leap? The thing that worries me for Miami is the fact that, uh, again, I brought this up earlier, uh, the only time that he has been outside of the state of Ohio was his freshman and sophomore seasons when he played for D3 school Geneva before transferring to Mount Union. Now, the other name that's popped up as of late is Doug Nussmeyer. Uh, Nussmeyer has been an offensive assistant coach with the Dallas Cowboys for the past five seasons. Like Nuss has been an OC in college at Fresno State under Pat Hill, Washington under Steve Sarkeesian, uh, Alabama with Saban, Michigan with Brady Hoke, and then he was Jim McElwain's OC at Florida in 2015 through 2017 before hopping on with the Cowboys in 2018. And of course, there's the little detail about his son, Garrett Nussmeyer, being the backup quarterback at LSU. Uh, would Garrett maybe transfer to Miami to play for his dad? It's very interesting to think about. Anyway, Nuss and Mario coached together at uh, Alabama in 2013, so there's a little bit of familiarity there. Nuss would run what Mario wants to run on offense. So that's an interesting one. I know for a fact that the fan base is not thrilled about that. And if you go through, uh, if you go to stateoftheu.com, they have got an incredible write-up on what Nuss's offenses looked like, what they ranked in those seasons at all those different places and what they ranked after Nuss left. So might want to go do a little bit of reading. Uh, Then there's the Scott Frost rumors. Got to bring that up. Frost has owed a lot of money by Nebraska, $16.4 million in buyouts to be exact. I have to imagine that he'd just like to lay low for a little while after things ended so poorly at his alma mater. Uh, I'm still convinced that the hire is going to be Marcus Royo, although To be honest, uh, if this was going to get done, there's no reason it shouldn't have already started. Like Arroyo is currently unemployed after being let go by UNLV um, so so that they could hire the Arkansas D.C. and former Missouri head coach Barry Odom. It'll be interesting to see what Cristobal cooks up here and if anyone is willing to take the job, you know, knowing how Cristobal prefers to stay on the conservative side of things on offense. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, And of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.